Yonavit, Sribilab, Kusumanjali, Birds from the Foot. Oh Goddess, may I, the joyful, make a beautiful full moon like Tilaka on your forehead with musk. Annoying your body with fine glistening saffron and make pictures on your breast with perfume. Explanation Sri Raghunath suffer intolerable agony because he cannot attain his beloved deity. And then again he realizes the flavors of Swamini devotional service in a transcendental vision. After bathing Swamini, he dried her off, dressed her, and made her braid. And now he will make a tilaka mark on her forehead. How can the devotee continue? and this path if he never experience of religious anything. This religious cause the devotee to forget everything else and awakens his constant meditation on the Lord. This is the purpose of Upasan. In the introduction to his commentary to the Chandogya Upanishad, Sripada Sankaracharya has explained the word Upasana as follows. Upasana tu yata shastra samapitam kinchit alabanam upadaya tasnim samana chita bhiti santana karanam tat avilakshana pratyayat pratyayan yang tatigam iti Upasana means to hold on or to a certain subject of meditation according to the scriptural injunction with such one pointiness that no other subject mirror can enter. For Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, there is nothing in the world except his connection with Sri Ratha. In Bhakti Ratnakara, fifth wave, it is described how in his spiritual absorption, he rejected burger milk from Sakistali, the village of Radha Arch Rival Chandravali. There was one Prajavasi named Das who loved Raghunath Das Goswami very much. He 
anywhere to the village or Sakistali, close to the town of Govardhan, and found a big leaf cup there, which he brought along, thinking of Raghunandas Goswami, who had given up eating all solid food out of course separation of course separation from Gadarani. Dasa food. It is Raghunandas rules to drink only one cup of buggy milk a day. When I give him this big leaf cup he can eat a little more and brought some buttermilk milk from his house to fill up the big leaf cup. When he came before him, Raguna Dasko Swami, seeing the new cup, asked him, Where do you get this big leaf cup from? That's the same. I went to Saki study to hear my cows and I found this good leaf cup there. And I brought it to you. Hearing the name the Saki study, Das became filled with anger and threw the leaf cup with the boiling milk far away. After some time, he came down and told us that is the place where Chandravali lives. Don't go there. How wonderful is Raghunath loyalty to Sri Ratna. What else can there, can there be but strong feelings of possessiveness towards someone that you have known for eternity? Anyone who has tasted even a little of this spiritual practice will get some of this feeling of possessiveness toward Radharani's also. And even through even though it may not be so strong, he will also feel some separation from Sweetheart. The nectar of Sweetheart Halotus feet is the greatest support for a devotee. the body and everyone and everything connected with it is all temporary it will all go with home shall I stay there I don't have any other place to stay but Sri Radha, Lotus Feet. This is the mood of an Chanta, one pointed devotee. When feelings of separation set in, the devotee feels intolerable agony, agony. He cannot eat. 
sleep and be merry anymore. And nothing can please him, can please his heart anymore. He can only be consoled by experiencing Swamini's form, taste, sound, touch, and smell, whether in dreams, smarana, or during tribulation. <coughs> in his spiritual identity of as Tulasi, Sri Raguna sit down close to Srimati, lovingly holds her chin with her left hand and a rouge in her right hand and starts to make full moons shaped tilaka of musk on her golden forehead. First, she draw a circle of a guru, mix it with musk. Within the circle, she draw a beautiful, fine lotus with line of sindur. And in that fine lotus, she makes a tilakatot with sandalwood pulp, mixed with camphor. This sweet tilaka that shimmers on Swamini's sweet forehead is now as the Kama Yantra of Cupid's instrument is able to control Syamasunga and give him the great bliss. It reminds Swamini of Syama because it has the same color and fragrance as his. Why Tulasi releases all this beauty, she calls Swamini Devi. How many meanings are hiding in the single world? Devi means the most <coughs> effulgent and most beautiful girl, or the girl who lives in the town of Krishna worship. She is the most beautiful because of her Madana Mahababa which is not a material kind of beauty. Rasika Sekara Krishna cannot appreciate mere surface beauty, which is not arising from pure love for him. He does not, uh, he does not accept any bliss which does not come forth from his pleasure potency. Mm? Only the flavor of pure love is dear to him. The word Devi also means Diviati Hidati Asyam. She who plays with Krishna satisfy him with her worship. 
because Krishna plays in Hratha, she is called Devi. He plays in other beloveds also, of course. But Sri Hratha is the fountain head of all of them. Hence, she is the empress of the town of Krishna worship. The word puja means establishing gratification. Sri Radharani is the endless storehouse of things that can gratify Sri Krishna. She can madden him with desires that he could not ever have imagined himself. She is Visnendriya Brisvana, Vidu Salika. The resting place for all Krishna senses. There is no other such a playground for Krishna anywhere. How many sweet pastimes Tulasi reminds Radhika of why she calls her Devi and paints the Tilaka on her forehead the black color and the scent of the musk both remind Swamini of Shyam. Swamini is immersed in it and pours her body into the stream of Tulasi devotional wishes. Blesses in this maid servant. There is no comparison to her love, which is marked by an abundance and of feelings and possessiveness. Possessiveness. Radharani trusts herself. Radharani trusts her many servants even more than she trusts herself. They understand things before Swamini herself understands them. Sri Raghunath says, I don't just want devotional service. I want a kind of feeling of no difference of hair between Sigadikas and her maid servant. All of Radharani's hurt experience arise within the maid servant hurts also. See Radhika is the self of the self. How intolerable is the misery of not attaining her lotus-like feet. The main servant feel the same pain of separation from Radha, from Krishna, that's Radharani feels. And the same enable Mahaprabhu to break through the three bolt doors in his Gambira self to go out and near meet Krishna. Another vision is the only thing that can save Raghunath's life during 
his this painful time of separation. The relish of Radha and Krishna's sweetness is a transcendental vision in his very life support. Each devotee needs such vision as food for the soul. Maneras Marana Prana Madura Madura Dama Yugala Vilasa Smirti Sara Prema Bhakti Chandra The life force of the mind is Smarana which is the abode of all sweetness What is the meaning of the Smarana? What is Smarana? The sweetness. The sweetness. Huh? Remember. The sweetness. No? Remember. Remember. Thinking. Where is my mind? Think what I think I am there. I think that I am a Rishikesh, I am there. What I will think I am there. So our thinking has to change. That is the sadhana. Sadhaka inside thinking. Inside. Life force of the mind is smarter. Life, life of the mind, where I, I, mind is bringing, I go there. Which is the abode of all sweetness and the essence of remembrance is the first time of Sri Radha and Krishna. From the words of the Goswamis, we can understand how expert they are relishing the sweetness of this transcendental pastime. Sri Rupa Goswami writes, Gaben Sayantap Ayayam Kada Brindavanantai Sagamaya Yuvan Lapsi Harinam Paritosikam. When as, as you search for each other in Vrindavan, will I bring you together and get necklace from you as a reward? Krishna begs Srimati Rupa Manjari, Rupa, won't you let me meet you, Swamini? Rupa says, what rewards shall I get then? Krishna gives her a necklace as a reward and Sirupa Manjari keeps into his chest. Swamini awards her my servant by kissing her Nagara and Rupa keeps this vision. No, I don't understand. Paragraph is not very hard. When, as you search for each other in Vrindavan, will I bring you together 
and get necklace for you as a reward? I said reward. Reward, yes. Right. Sorry, there you know my English is not very good. Well, he can reach oh. in America. Please. <laughs> when, as you search for each other in Vrindavana, will I bring you together and get necklaces from you as a reward? Krishna begs Srimati Rupa Mandri. Rupa, won't you let me meet your Swamini? Rupa says, What reward shall I get then? Krishna gives her a necklace as a reward and Sri Rupa Manjari keeps it on her chest. Swamini awards her maidservant by kissing her Nagara. And Rupa, Swamini awards her maidservant by kissing her Nagara. And Rupa keeps this vision as a necklace on her chest. <coughs> Krishna gives her a necklace as a reward and Sri Rupa Mantri keeps it on her chest. Swamini awards her maidservant by kissing her Nagara. Krishna Krishna. Sāmni kiss to Krishna. 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 That the reward for myself. Yes, Krishna give one necklace to Rupa. And Sāmni kiss Krishna. That was the reward of the myself. And Rupa keeps this vision as a necklace on this her chest. Vision, what she see, keep in the heart. That is the necklace. Whose reward is higher? Swamini awards her maidservant by kissing her Nagara. And Rupa keeps this vision as a necklace on her chest. The sweetness of the Yugala Milana meeting 
is her best reward. Tulasi expertly draws scented pictures of Makati fishes on Swamini's golden pitcher-like breasts and anoints her beautiful body that mocks the beauty of molten gold with glossy vermilion. The black color and the fragrance of the musk of the tilak reminds Swamini of Shama. Swamini is overwhelmed by these incitements. The expert dresser, Tulasi, <clears throat> makes Swamini bloom up by reminding her of the beautiful time when she first fell in love with her Sham, Purva Raga. Once, Swamini was in an ecstatic swoon for six hours after hearing Hari's flute song and the Sakis having failed in all their endeavors to wake her finally brought her to Poranami's straw hut The Sakis, having failed in all their endeavors to wake her up, finally brought her to Purnamasi's straw hut. Purnamasi the personification of Krishna's mystic illusion, Yoga Maya, who always arranges for Radha and Krishna's meeting, had Madhu Mangala, her grandson, call Krishna and tell him that Sri Radha had fainted because of his flute playing. When Krishna finally came, Vrinda Devi forcibly placed his lotus feet 
that are like the leaves of the reviving Sanjeevani plant on Radhika's heart, making her wake up instantly when she opened her eyes and saw Krishna she softly wept making Krishna shyly walk away which poet could possibly describe even a drop of the transcendental bliss that Sri Sri Radha Madhava experienced when Krishna's lotus feet touched Radhika's heart. When Krishna walked away, the kumkuma from Radhika's breasts that got stuck on his foot sole was printed on the grass of Vrindavana and the low class Bulinga girls felt great joy from smearing that kumkumba on their own breasts. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavata. For this reason, Tulasi blissfully rubs this reddish kumkumma on Sri Radhika's breasts or makes pictures of wonderful, playful Makati fishes on them while drawing pictures of these past sports on the slab of her heart. Rasa is thus served by Rasa in the kingdom of Rasa. Sri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings With spots of musk, I will make you a tilak, like the full moon in autumn on your forehead, and I will eagerly anoint your beautiful golden body with an ungent of kumkuma and musk. I will carefully make pictures on your breasts with different excellent perfumes Please cast a merciful glance at me and accept me as your maidservant. Please keep me at your lotus feet to serve you. verse 24.
With spots of musk, when Krishna walked away. As you search for each other in Vrindavana, will I bring you together and get necklaces from you as a reward? Krishna begs Srimati Rupa Mandri. Rupa, won't you let me meet your Swamini? Rupa says, What reward? Shall I get them? Krishna gives her a necklace as a reward and Sri Rupa Manjari keeps it on her chest. Swamini awards her maidservant by kissing her Nagara and Rupa keeps this vision as a necklace on her chest. The sweetness of the Yugala Milana is her best reward. Tulasi expertly draws scented pictures of Makati fishes on Swamini's golden pitcher-like breasts and anoints her beautiful body that mocks the beauty of molten gold with glossy vermilion. The black color and the fragrance of the musk of the tilak reminds Swamini of Sham. Swamini is overwhelmed by these incitements. The expert dresser Tulasi 
makes Swamini blue up. By reminding her of the beautiful time when she first fell in love with her Sham, Purva Raga. Once Swamini was in an ecstatic swoon for six hours after hearing Hari's flute song and the Sakis having failed in all their endeavors to wake her up finally brought her to Purnamasi's straw hut. Purnamasi, the personification of Krishna's mystic illusion, Yoga Maya, who always arranges for Radha and Krishna's meeting, had Madhu Mangala, her grandson, call Krishna and tell him that Sri Radha had fainted because of his flute playing. When Krishna finally came, Vrinda Devi forcibly placed his lotus feet that are like the leaves of the reviving Sanjivani plant on Radhika's heart, making her wake up instantly. When she opened her eyes and saw Krishna, she softly wept, making Krishna shyly walk away. Which poet could possibly describe even a drop of the transcendental bliss that Sri Sri Radha Madhava experienced when Krishna's lotus foot touched Radhika's heart. When Krishna walked away, the kunkuma from Radhika's breast that got stuck on his foot sole was printed on the grass of Vrindavana and the low class Pulinda girls felt great joy from smearing that kumkuma on their own breasts. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavata. For this reason, 
Tulasi blissfully rubs this reddish kunkuma on Sri Radhika's breasts or makes pictures of wonderful, playful Makati fishes on them while drawing pictures of these past sports on the slabs of her heart. Rasa, spiritual flavor, is thus served by Rasa in the kingdom of Rasa. Sri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings. With spots of musk, I will make a tilak like the full moon in autumn on your forehead. And I will eagerly anoint your beautiful golden body with an ungent of kunkuma and musk. Well, I will carefully make pictures on your breasts with different excellent perfumes. Please cast a merciful glance at me and accept me as your maidservant. Please keep me at your lotus feet to serve you. This is the end of verse 24. Why? 
is a symbol of the meeting of Kumkuma and Master. And same thing they are making on the breast of Radhika, one fish, makari You know this fish is very beautiful fish. The nature of the fish why fish they make it on the breast of the Buddha? Because the breast is the heart. And the most softest place. This is your softness. That you are like a fish. Fish cannot live without water. You are also like that. You cannot live without your lover Krishna. By seeing your love, it reminds me like a beautiful, but like a fish, you cannot live if the fish bring out from the water, they will die. So if I bring far from Krishna, you cannot live. So similar nature is like a fish. So you remind like a fish and they make remembrance on the breast with their black. Krishna cannot live without you, and you cannot live without both is built for each other, for the, the exchange the love. Because you have the highest love inside you, only for God, only for Krishna. Only one point at love. He has many, but although he loves only you, but you have no one, only him. So natural love, your love is more higher than because he reward with the ornaments. Material. God rewards with the material and love rewards to give the kiss to his lover that is in the ornaments for the dasi. And this is more higher ornaments that to give the divine reason of exchange of love. So they put it. this ornament always in the heart. Krishna gave ornament like an ornament. And Radhika gave ornament by giving gifts to Krishna. Thus, but they think this is the high. I just um, gift and what reward she is giving in on the chest. Uh, these are to meditate and feel that. They are not material like us, they are divine. We cannot think without the soul consciousness to them, because this is divine. It's not they have a body, material, life body, divine everything. 
I cannot think for you, I will not see it. I will not feel it. I can feel when I am close to someone, I feel him. Like your partner, husband is close to you, you feel him. If he is, Radhika is close to me, I will feel her also. If I feel that I am a, a dasi, is a feeling. I will feel that I am a servant. I will feel her clothes. When I will feel her clothes, then I can see her and I can see his lover also. And I can see what they are doing. And this is one pastime happen. What the is mentioned in this paragraph, in this page, that this is happening. The mad servant who is very close, they are looking this. 
and they remind us that if you meditate, you can be also close to them. The feeling will grow, and then feeling grow, then you become maid servant, and this maid servant can be close and feel it. Nobody explain about the breast. Here is mention about the breast. Why? The spiritual life, not mention breast and kiss and these things. But why is it explain it? Because the breast is the place where the baby can get the food. The manjaris are the baby, like a baby of Radhika, because we learn from the Radhika. So without breastfeeding, we, any child cannot grow. Our spiritual life, we are like a child. If we want to be a go in a spiritual life, we need to breastfeeding. We have to learn like a baby to grow my spiritual life. So whose breast she feed? She is giving the birth as a baby, as a kinkiri, as a dasi to me. A spiritual form is mercy of you, Radhika. When you give the spiritual form of the soul that I am your dasi, then I am your baby. And baby will, they cannot grow without breastfeeding. Serving to breast and touching to the breast of mother. So the manjaris are like a baby of Radhika. At the same time, Radhika as a lover, Krishna, and at the same time, she has a baby also. The baby is a kinkiri, is a manjari, is a the servant close to her, is a baby, like a baby. They have a full of feeling to like to be baby of her. So naturally, for the baby, mother breast is important, for lover, kiss is important. The baby is, manjaris are feeling, so they are painting on the breast. Baby, when they play, they paint and touch the breast of mother. And the lover means they kiss each other. This is the nature of lovers and the child. Lover, if not kiss, is not love. And baby not touch the breast of baby, mother is not baby. She is not baby. Mother cannot cover breast with the baby. And lover cannot keep distance without kissing to love beloved. And beloved kiss to the lover. This is nature, is exchange of feelings. Both like this. But it is divine exchange. And we see material life is also like this. But it is divine, so it's not make you bad feelings. Is a pure 
it increases your taste of Krishna love and Radhika love for Krishna. Krishna is divine. It gives you more great feeling inside. It does not create impurity in your heart. They took kumkum, kum, red color, pongas, when birthday happened, they put the kumkum and the rice. This is kumkum, red color. The crescent seed is a symbol of Radhika, passion, and musk is the flavor. There is a kasturi. And it looks like a black. So Radhika and Krishna, in color also they make that together. And then they put the tila to Radhika. He always together. She is sitting alone, but why the king is put this, that you are always together? Because Radhika is always in meditation to Krishna, with lover. So when I meditate with the mind something, I am there. Mind bring you together. Why do I you to separate? This is the mind job. Why do I make me to block? Why do I make me not to think? Why do I make me to be close with that? Why do I the things? All is the mind. Our mind is pure, he can visualize many things. And how to make pure to the mind? With the pure association, with the devotees whose mind is clear, second thing, chanting and listening, the divine subject of divine company. And this div divinity is why? Because one is the goddess of love and one is God Himself. Their action. Goddess of love, how is he loved to the God, his lover? And how the God loved to his beloved with the go Goddess of love. So, this is divine because only moves for the God to the divine. And why is moving in the human body? Because there is also divine part of the soul. Soul is the divine part of the Creator, part and partial. So it moves in human body also. 
without because of my eating, drinking, I make so polluted to my body and mind. It's mixed up, confused. How to make pure to visualize that? And how to create the divinity that I have to practice to improve that.